Welcome to Andy's Garage. I'm Andy Phillips. Today I want to talk a little bit about why you shouldn't fill up your fuel tank beyond its max when you're at the gas station and what it can cause if you do. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go and fill this up so I can show you what we're talking about. So after you select your grade, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the pump into our filler neck here. Now, whether you're using the just the auto where you lock the handle like I have here, or if you're doing it by hand, when the sensor reaches its point to where the tank is full, it's gonna shut that off, or if you're doing it by hand, you'll hear it click. And there you can see it. So the sensor's letting the pump know that it's full at that point. I've been guilty of this, where you try to squeeze some extra in there, either you're trying to top off your tank even more, or you're trying to round up your money, but here's the risk that can happen with that. You can see some splashing out. And if you keep going, it can really overflow. And I'll show you here what we're, what we're dealing with. This particular one here doesn't have any drains. So anything that spills over there is gonna leak onto your paint and in time will damage the paint. This vehicle has little drain holes. So any spillage will drip through and it'll drain out so it won't go all over the paint. But even this pump calls it out there on the last bullet. It says, do not top off. They are equipped with a sensing port that's vacuum driven and that will shut it off right there automatically. But let's go into more depth and I'll talk about some other things besides just spilling onto your paint and how this can be dangerous. If we take a look at this diagram, I put this together to hopefully give you a better visual of what I'm gonna be talking about. But on the far right, you see the fuel filler neck. That right there is where the fuel pump goes into the tank to where you can add fuel, whether it be diesel, gasoline, whatever the case is. So the actual stem of the fuel pump goes into that fuel filler neck to fill up the tank. And you can see I have the fuel called out there inside the tank itself. Now above it, you'll see what I have is known as the fuel tank vent tube. Now this tube is there to allow airflow in and out of the tank so pressure does not build up. Here, let's take a look at this vent hole as it's located on an actual vehicle. You can see the holes here next to the filler neck. On this one here, you can see the holes up there in the corner. On this other vehicle, you can see you have a little bit of kind of a little bit of a, a lip in front of it to prevent gasoline or, or diesel, whatever the case may be, going back into it. But that right there, those holes are for this fuel tank vent tube. And here's a look of the vent tube from the other side. You can see there's the fuel filler neck there on the bottom. You can see that hose right there at the top. That's for the vent tube where it comes up to the fuel filler neck and then it can vent out. Now you'll see that I've also called out the upper volume chamber at the top of the tank. This area can hold approximately 10 to 20% of the tank's capacity, and this area allows for expansion of the tank when the fuel gets hot. Now when you overflow your tank, you force fuel into this area, which can lead to fuel backing into the vent tube and or the vapor charcoal canister that you can see up at the top there. Now, when you block the vent tube, it can lead to pressure or vacuum issues. These issues can cause strong fuel odors when you open your, your cap coming out of the tube. Sometimes it can result in fuel spraying out of the, uh, the fuel filler neck when you open the cap. Slow fuel flow when you're trying to pump gas into your tank. And in some cases, you can also damage your tank or even this can lead to explosions if you get that vacuum out of whack like that. Now, eventually, if you do get this tube blocked, eventually it'll purge once the fuel levels go down as, as the fuel levels drop and allow for that, that capacity to open up again. Now, getting fuel into this upper area here, this vapor charcoal canister, this can cause saturation, which will deteriorate the charcoal. If this happens, it'll result in a rich air fuel mixture. Sometimes this will trigger the check engine light to come on in your vehicle if you damage the EVAP system because of damaging this canister. Now this can also damage your catalytic converter. It can cause you to fail your emissions test. And if you do damage this canister, it can cost you as much as $900 to replace unless you try to do it yourself. So it's a good idea not to overflow your tank and overfill it so it doesn't back up into, the, into this canister area. Okay, well that wraps up this quick video. Just wanted to talk a little bit about that. I know people, including myself, sometimes are guilty of doing that, trying to get as much in as you can. It winds up overflowing. And I just wanted to talk about a little bit of what that can do and causing damage, what can be costly. So I hope that this video was informative for you. I hope it helped you out with any 
any issues or, or questions that you've had pertaining to that. I know there's there's mixed opinions out there, but please send me any questions and comments. I would love to hear from you. And as always, I appreciate all the support. So please like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.